So Google has a whole lot of tools that can be integrated together to supercharge your research writing process. In this video, I'll be taking you through four tools powered by Google, made available by Google, that you can put together, integrate together to have a beautiful workflow of your research work. These tools are Google Scholar. Of course, you already know what Google Scholar is capable of, but I will show you some insights you may not have um, met before with Google Scholar. And I'll be generating my research uh, literature, looking for a seed paper, if you like, from Google Scholar. And from Google Scholar, I would take you to the new Google Notebook LM, that beautiful AI part platform that can summarize your literature at one glance. You can upload several of your literature and it begins to summarize for you. Then I would also take you to the Google Gemini. Yes, the new 2.0 Flash and its beautiful ability to create content, its ability to look through whatever you put to it and search the net and give you very intelligent content around your work. And finally, I would take you to that beautiful um, AI Chrome extension called the Google Scholar PDF Reader. And so I'll be showing you how to integrate these tools to supercharge your research experience. Now let's get back to Google Scholar about our first tool. This is where you get to find your seed paper. You got to find your most um, cited papers. So I have a topic in mind. I have a research in mind. And um, my research topic is um, eccentricity, eccentricity mediated polar on uh, uh, dynamics, dynamics in um in ellipsoidal uh, quantum dots now this is my topic of course you are aware though if you're not aware you should learn now that you cannot put this whole topic on google scholar to search if you do that you would not be getting um the best of google scholar you would um, not be also using that tool intelligently. And so how do you use this tool intelligently? How do you use this first tool? I want to find uh, related literature that I've discussed, uh, Polaron Dynamics and um, uh, maybe Ellipsoidal Quantum Dot and maybe Encentricity. And so what do I do? What are my keywords? My keywords, I can uh, suggest or find my keywords myself, but I can go to this our uh, friend Google Gemini and put my topic and I'd say um put it in parentheses that way and come here and say this is my proposed uh, research topic give me keywords keywords for search on uh, Google Scholar and this model will do that for me. It's going to pick out what I'm looking at and give me some very keywords and um, it's going to look at, look through, look through, look through, look through and these are some of the possible keywords. Now beyond just giving me keywords it's going to do this for me. Give me examples to use. It says, um, if you're focusing on a particular material for quantum dot, uh, including your search, this is this, this, this. And if you're looking for theoretical approaches, tight binding, all of that, add keywords like, um, and um, if I'm looking for all of that, don't forget to use Boolean. 
Yes, use Google Scholar Advanced Search Features with Boolean Operators to refine so polar run and quantum dot and eccentricity, not spherical. Uh, you could see all of that beautiful, beautiful uh, use of keywords. And it gives me a whole lot of, um, of rundown on how to use uh, or what keywords to use. And so I want to pick these keywords and I want to go back to Google Scholar and I will use that topic. I'll just put my keywords and now this is the part you don't know. I want it to only give me um, documents that have open source PDF. So I put uh, a column and I add PDF. This means that the search criteria, all of the searches you would provide for me would have uh, would be literature or studies that have a PDF version available online. So I'll hit on my search and this beautiful um, piece of tool would give me what I'm looking for. Okay, so my search is now here and I want to uh, begin to do some filtering. So I would filter to give me papers of um, the last five years. So I've done that filter, just click that and it gives you that uh, filtering to papers of the last five years. And what else do you do? You begin to uh, look through the papers to see the one that exactly fits your particular um, interest or has a, a similar methodology. Uh, let's look at this paper. This is... Um, Polaronic uh, effects on um, electron rama scattering in spherical. Okay, it looks very close to what I am trying to find. Uh, it is. Um, it has no citation, however. And uh, I go down still to see if we could find some more papers. Uh, this is small to large polaron behavior induced by controlled interactions. Okay, uh, effect of bond polaron and all of that. And. Um, all of that this is um quite cited but about 16 persons uh, 2001 okay that's good citation for a paper written some three four five years ago and i go down still now notice that for each of these papers this is it it has a pdf version its pdf is open source uh, and because i had included that i wanted to see papers whose pdf it's available online so i have all of these this paper is available uh, so which one looks very close to what i am uh, trying to do uh, i think this effect of bond polaron and electric field on uh, for that so i could just um, click to open it and of course it would open to its uh, uh, the, the pdf version that is available and I can get to begin to download this paper and begin to work with it. So I miss my search, I get to this particular paper I hit on the paper now remember that on my Google space that is on my device there is this this beautiful AI model called the Google Scholar PDF reader and so each time I click on a document that has a PDF it takes hold of the PDF document and takes me here now if you don't have this this is not how your PDF would open and this my PDF uh, document is opening differently. It's differently. How different? Now, somewhere there, the, it's because an AI model, it quickly takes hold of the document. And um, I could go through the document that way, just click each part of it. And uh, that way, I have that beautiful overview of the document. Now, beyond that, now, supposing I want to use this document to find other related um studies this is what i simply do i simply do because i am on this uh, space 
each of the ref citation in this particular paper becomes a link so if i click on that link i can assess all of the cited papers and so uh this citation is available here and uh, i could see citation number two i could see citation now look at pay attention to the citations they are related papers i could go to find um some insight on methodology some insight on the theory use and their links are available courtesy of the google scholar pdf reader and i i want to see citation number three i i want to see citation number four now all of them are available in just that order and of course you could just click to get of this also has a pdf document so if i want to see this i could just click that and i have that now moreover i can download this document so i can just hit on download and it would immediately download into my drive there you are i have some documents downloaded just very fast that way and so i want to download some more documents that uh some more related studies that are very related to what i am trying to get a hold of and i this doesn't have a pdf i want to look at uh, citation number three it doesn't have a pdf Citation number four has a pdf so i'll just hit on that pdf and again it takes me to that document it's going to take me to this other research paper it's available and it's pdf it's very 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 much available and so what are we discussing here we're using different ai models and different ai tools and making sense and making um meaning and supercharging our research uh process and so this also has the pdf version available and it is downloadable like you could just see somewhere there now remember that for most cases for most research one of the things that keep you um uh, roving around that research is your inability to find um the most common acceptable methodology or theory that has been applied in similar studies but if you are able to find related studies you can easily do that so this again i would download so i have document number one document number two document number three and i have them all downloaded in my device and what else do i do still a google enable tool i would go to the google notebook lm a very powerful tool that collects your different um work so i'm gonna try click on try collect your different pdf works and gives you a quick summary of it allows you discuss with the paper as though you were discussing with uh, uh, um, humans so i'm going to create new and this comes up and allows me to upload uh, the pdf documents i have just downloaded so i have pdf number one pdf number two pdf number three all related and i open them so that it uploads here you would see it quickly uploading into notebook lm and once they uh finish uploading what else do i do since these documents or these research papers are, are somewhat connected once they are done uploading i can begin to discuss with the papers just begin asking questions these the papers you've uploaded ask questions like um uh dear some common theoretical um formulation in these papers and of course it's gonna answer you it's gonna give you some very quick answers of uh possible similarities in theoretical formulations in the papers you've loaded you've that is the answer it says yes um uh, most of the papers uh, yes there are some common theoretical and at least where they are common what they did they all of them use prescription theory there is a variation method 
and uh, stronger weak coupling limits, electron phenon coupling, 